5,000 customers in Placerville alone started the day in the dark this morning. Amy there now, what's the latest there, Mike? Well, Chris, the good news is that those numbers do continue to drop, but at last check, 566 customers just in the Placerville area alone are still without power, and it's been really frustrating. So behind me, these are the people who woke up without power and without heat today. But I want to show you just across the street here. This is US 50. Everyone on this side of the street, no problems, no power outages all day, and the people on one side could look at the other and see the difference. I was sleeping, but my daughter, she um, came to me and goes, Mama, Mama, the power's out. Jen Newman's morning started out cold and dark and stayed that way throughout the day. But she made the most of it, getting outside with her daughter and granddaughter, enjoying the freshly fallen snow. I asked her when she thought the power would come back on. I wasn't sure because PG&E is kind of slow on that, you know. But they said that about 1030 would come on, but it's still not on. Just a little further down the street, Teresa Sumpra and her brother Hal Camp were taking advantage of the daylight, insulating pipes and recharging batteries with their generator. It gets progressively worse. Um, you know, we can deal with a fair amount, but at some point it gets a little too old. Hey, my feet are cold. They're wet. My jacket's still wet from last night. I can't get it dry. The house is cold. Teresa admits they have adapted because of the public safety power shutoffs in the summer. We also have these great big solar batteries that we can plug into as well as the gas generator. So we're getting more prepared all the time. She showed me what she means. Then around here, I'll be, I'll be hooking that um, battery up to the crock pot so we have lunch today. <laughs> Some soup, thank goodness we had leftovers and my poor mom. It's all bundled up here because it's pretty cold in here. Teresa was just worried about her mom if the power didn't come back on soon. By tonight, the house will be extremely cold. And some good news on that front as well. Teresa's family does have the power back on now. Now, I also checked in the latest numbers. It seems that the most number of pg and customers without power still is just northeast of Somerset. So if you're in that area, you are probably still without power. I also asked about when people in other areas could expect power to be back on. pg e says that they have to make sure that there are no more avalanche warnings because that will keep their employees from going to those areas because it's just not safe enough. And if people haven't signed up for their alerts, you can go to pg&e.com slash outages to get the latest updates when they should happen. Mm -hmm. Chris? Good idea there.